What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now here we are ladies and gentlemen the final boss guide for final fantasy 7 rebirth and also my final content that i'll be doing for the game this one is against sephiroth reborn another long drawn out boss fight where you will be using all your party members as well as zack which is not a very good thing i think because zack i feel is a chump but you do get a lot of support spells through him so he can be useful in a fight, you have to know how to use him, so it might take a couple of trial and error, but you can do it. This is like the Zack part is not the tough part, the tough part is the other rounds, uh, mainly the one uh, which you have to fight Bahamut, and that time your party is locked to Tifa, Red 13 and Kate Sid. Tifa being a stagger machine and Red 13 doing good physical damage is a good thing but that Bahamut charges up his Giga Flare real quick like he does not go into charge 1, charge 2 and then the Giga Flare, he goes directly into Giga Flare. So if he gets to the point where he starts charging up, if you don't stagger him or shut his health down, then he can do a lot of damage. So that is one thing to watch out for, you, get the, you carry over the same gear that you have had so far. So make sure you have heal, revive and also prayer materia equipped on all your party from earlier on. 
and that's it that is all you need to watch out for all the different rounds you can check my gameplay to see how i deal with bahamut and the other rounds i believe are pretty easy even the zack solo fight during the zack solo fight you can use some support spells like bravery and faith and others to buff him up sephiroth mainly is weak to fire so you can put fire damage on everyone like fire spell on everyone if you want but yeah, as you can know you cannot change your materia mid fight for this one so you will have to go along with what you already have but that is not a very big issue in my opinion like you have uffy barret and tifa and other party members at different times and with the materia you have equipped as i told you during the genova life clinger fight i think you can exploit his weakness very easily sephiroth generally is weak to fire as i have said so that is what you should focus on he does change his affinity from time to time but as i said not a major issue even with the zack solo fight when you are fighting sephiroth solo with just zack you can use the synergy abilities you won't have cloud cloud for support or you cannot change to him but you can use him for synergy abilities so if you can just charge up the synergy bar you can get him with that and that does uh, like the zack and cloud uh, synergy attack does some good damage and that's it then the other issue is during the final phase of this battle when you are fighting sephiroth with cloud and erith at that point you can hold square during the cut scene and change your material and equipment make sure cloud has the goddamn rung or limit booster equipped uh, and erith has the genji gloves and just bring your strongest fire spells and give erith a couple of ice spells as well because during the battle it can happen that sephiroth might change his affinity to fire if he does that then your fire spells are going to start healing him and you do not want that he has a lot of aoe attacks during different phases like uh, heartless angel or ashes of war or some fire attack something like that so watch out for the aoe attacks rest of them can be easily dodged or countered and that is all you need to watch out for just make sure you stay aggressive don't get too defensive don't dodge a lot don't block a lot stay aggressive stay on him most of your level 3 spells will stun him or make him jump up and fall to the ground which will give you a couple of seconds to get some damage in and charge your atp and that's all you need to watch out for this is a long drawn out fight but it has a lot of checkpoints so you can just you know restart from current battle and come back to the final round and do the fight that way so don't lose your heart if you lose a couple, uh, couple of rounds you can still keep the fight going just make sure you don't restart from checkpoint or restart the fight something like that so that's it rest i leave you with the gameplay and as always people this has been great fun and it has been my honor and immense pleasure to bring these final fantasy rebirth guides to you next up you guys are going to see some uh, uh, i think black myth wukong content some star wars jedi survivor content and also the stellar blade platinum review which will be coming up shortly after this one so please do watch out for those and also share your feedback in the comment section your love and support as always means a very 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 big amount to me it means a lot to me and please keep it coming and as always stay healthy stay safe and stay busy playing some good games Shit. Don't care how big you get. I'm not backing down. I'm finishing this. Call your fire.
right there, boy. Burn. I just want to leave this channel. I was so close to running him and then he had me. Um... 
It's those stupid wings! We haven't even scratched it! This close for us.
end this. Together. I must admit. I underestimated you. Attacking area, Don't overdo it. However, I can help. How can you want this, Sephiroth? You know, your part has played. How can you want an eternity of loneliness? Here goes. Let's end this cloud. All right. Take it over. Defy. I'll let it up to You ready? As I'll ever be. Now's our chance. I'll take care of this. Need a light. This one's for you. Go on. Your end is nigh. One more shot. I got this.
Start this as long. Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. <laughs> <laughs> 